Fellas, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing again Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks because they're going to be coming out with ships and planes in the very near future. They don't want me to say that, but it has to, it has to happen. But today we're focusing on our tank campaign and not really where we left off, but how we're going we're we're going to go kind of crazy today. Now, if you guys haven't seen the first video of Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks, they are undergoing a wonderful Kickstarter. Check them out in the description below. Support this game. Get this game built and ready for everyone because they have some amazing stretch goals. Check them out. Support today. Link description below. So today is going to be pretty darn nutty. First video, we went pretty reserved. We checked all the boxes and made sure that our tank was as boring and as useless as possible. We had a lot of money, but our tank was utterly useless. It couldn't hit a target to save its life. Today, we're going to take a big risk to make a war vehicle that will clean the battlefield. Now, a lot has been updated since the last time we played. We're actually not in my saved file or the, the game we're going to be playing. Um, I just wanted to show you a new building that they have for us, and uh, it just keeps your your most prized possessions. Now, these aren't really mine. These are just the, the players that are in this game right now. But as you can see, there's some amazing, beautiful builds here. We got the Sturm Panzers and this, the International, which I tried to build a couple of days ago. That's adorable. Um, it's like almost like a Bryn carrier, but it didn't work out at all. Uh, we got the Tiger in here. Look at this puppy. Uh, the T-3480. Like, the thing is, is that once we get to World War II, we can really make some cursed stuff. But at the same time, right now, it's pretty much already cursed. I mean, the Independent, the best tank ever designed. But uh, look at the Mark VIII, the International. Oh, my goods. That thing is terrifying. Terrifying. Uh, but yeah, so we have a, a new building where it keeps all your 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 most favorite and successful designs in. And without further ado, here is another surprise that Arms gave me for today's demo. Wish me luck. No bankruptcy today. Only profits. Only profits. Now, does this gentleman right here, and and and, and I use gentleman loosely, does he look familiar at all? Okay, it's me. Arms added me into the game, and uh, I think it looks marvelous. We're going to have a little revision to where it's only going to be a mustache, but I think it looks great right now. Okay, company name, Bonk Incorporated. If you guys don't know, Bonk is like um, Banks' nickname. I probably shouldn't use it, but uh, it's too adorable. All right, so um, if you guys haven't seen the first video, that's where I explain a lot in the game. Um, that will be in the description below for you guys to check out and just kind of know what I'm doing here. But if you are new and this is the first video you're clicking on, you research, you research stuff, you unlock stuff. Once you research stuff, you engineer stuff. And then once you engineer stuff, it becomes tangible and then you can design it and then you can produce it and then you can sell it. That is, that is the core of the demo right now. Now, Last video, we made a pretty conservative tank. It did horrible, like really bad. And I think today, what I'm going to have to do is where I really got caught up on was losing tanks out in the field and my gun sucked. Like they really did. So we're going to try to increase our loader stations in our kind of barrel construction here. This gives us some nice perks. Um, wired, wired wound barrel construction, chased barrel construction. So hopefully just more accuracy and more firepower, more force behind the rounds. And then for mobility, we're gonna try to go for a, hang on, a tadpole running gear. Now, what this is, it's just an elongated running gear that helped it not get stuck in uh, trenches. But to also complement that, I really want to get the V12 here, but I know it's going to bankrupt me. I know I'm not going to be able to research it in time. 
Like, oh, that's just too many man hours. I could get because because this is this is not going to be a light thing to add to the vehicle. Okay, so this is seventy five hundred kilograms compared to the original running gear. Hmm, that's actually not that bad. And let's start researching the engine. Two days, good. And um, we'll be back with you once I'm done researching it, and, and I'll show you what I have researched, because I'm just gonna be clicking a lot of buttons and trying to maximize my time right now. So we've really taken our time here, and there's a high chance that we're gonna completely miss the war I mean, okay, not completely miss it, but just there's a chance that we're not going to get the best contracts because we've been putting more of our effort into research and engineering than just spitting something out as fast as we can. We've missed some contracts, but hopefully with this build, we'll be good to go. Okay, so this is our Mark V. As you can see, it's different than the Mark I or the first one we used. Um, this is where it really gets different. Yeah, <laughs> this is called the tadpole. It was meant to, I can't even zoom out far enough. It was meant to cross trenches 30 meters wide, I guess. Um, I'm really hoping that this doesn't get us stuck. But at the same time, bigger is not always better. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to hope for the best. Okay, here's a Ricardo. Much better engine than our Daimler. At the same time... The Daimler wasn't really customized too much. As you can see, this thing costs a whole lot more money than Daimler, but hopefully it's not going to get stuck in the mud. But it probably will get stuck in the mud. Okay, secondary on the front and on the back. And something new to our tank that we didn't have last time is a rear cab, or maybe we did, but this one has a radio in it. So my hope with the radio, as you, this one that we just, you can see it right there, um, and it has a pigeonhole. So we, 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 we can send pigeon, pigeon messages in case our radio dies, but we have ra radio to communicate with our other tanks and um, hopefully be able to outsmart the enemies. Okay, male Mark 1's default kind of turrets, but we have a nice customized uh, six pounder here much more expensive much more heavy but better recoiling better sight just overall much better weapon okay selecting the crew okay let's get our crew gear this stuff is actually kind of crucial we'll get a crewman face mask or actually let's do a gas mask. Uh, we'll do this one because it looks absolutely terrifying we'll get a revolver or, you know, we'll do a... Oh, hang on. We got to uh, switch over here. A Leanfield. And let's get some crew up, crew outfits on. Okay. Ammunition. We're going to have hard, solid shot. And then some six-pounding. Not the best, but it will get the job done against infantry. Okay. Seven days for this build. And I think we are good to go. Okay, you know what? I think we're at a perfect time. Our money's looking good. We're going to trial this behemoth. And then I think we're going to be able... I think we're... I think we really did a good job here. Okay, trial's done. Let's check her out. Hopefully she's not horrible. Whoa. This is good. This is, this is what I really... So this might sound like counterintuitive, but like the first tanks we're going to be facing are going to be pretty darn light. And having this ability, and then also having the hard above or almost at 70 is not bad. Our mobility is very good. Our weight is a little bit too much, but maybe we could swing it. Like, okay, ooh, no. What if the mobility is great, but the, the weight's a little bit too much? Right? Like, come on. This is our contract. This is our contract. 30. A new regiment is being raised as, as a sign of increased trust in tanks from higher command. This regiment is to be equipped with the tanks, but with one significant difference, it should be armed with guns. 
think I think Company A had like the female turrets that only had machine guns. Mine is my oh that one looks really good, but mine's also really good too. But I don't know if it's that good. We could increase our oh, okay. 72,000 is that even worth that is totally worth it but I want more in the company I really I see this is the this is the problem I'm getting greedy I don't need to get greedy here I can offer bare bones I can offer all I can have right now and and, and, and I can totally beat him right here there we go I'm gonna do it that is not greedy Okay, so we have to wait. That contract's gonna take 23 days to go uh, until it gets, hey, um, yes, bonk. The bonk tank is operational. Th six tanks, but like, you gotta think about it, guys. These are pretty much heavy, heavy tanks before the war even started. I think our tank can completely run through the enemies here. Wow. Look at that. Already done. Already ready. Look at how well this... Co no, okay. We got 20 more. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Those are the days I have. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even realize it. We have 20 days to complete it. And we have 19, we'll have one day to move the production, the finished tanks to the warehouse to ship off. But I don't know. I, uh-oh, this is not good. Uh-oh. But I think, but like, is it the deadline for them to get there or for me to ship it? We're going to go to times one here just so we can slowly move down this. Uh-oh. Okay, production complete. Great. Great, great job, workers. Hats off to y'all. The deadline's in one day. And we are going to ship this right now. Three days. And I can't do it. Well, everyone, it's time to take a big L and go bankrupt. Oh. We blew that. We got to fire everybody. Shop's closed for now. Why wouldn't you just take my tanks a couple days late? Imagine that. You're at war. I have one of the most sophisticated tanks ever produced. Look what I'm versing here. All right, not, not that guy, but this guy. I would annihilate the Storm Panzer one. Wait, 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 One made it. What? One made it. One. Wait, what? Oh, good. I'm bankrupt, but my, but they took our tanks and didn't pay me for anything. That's savage. I mean, we had an agreement. I would deliver them. I delivered them a couple days later. Then they took my tanks anyways and didn't pay me anything. Like anything. I understand penalties. Maybe that 78000 down was my penalty. Okay. Well, I mean, at least we've done our duty here. We'll probably go bankrupt after our, our tanks are in battle. So, oh gosh. Dang! Oh my gosh! We let's you have to get at least one of your tanks delivered to a regiment. This is my tank. The British Army stole my tank because I didn't deliver. They they confiscated my tank and are using it out in battle. This is my tank. And we killed, we lost one of their, of mine. And I'm sure it was just from my vehicles 
reliability issue and we killed night was there another battle with my tank oh gosh this is gonna be all right well we're gonna go away here uh they got 20 we've got six no we got five now you never know maybe our tanks is that that good All right, battle of mm-hmm. Let's include it. I think I think we're wiped off the map now. They did retreat. Oh my goodness! Ladies and gentlemen, we have made an amazing tank. For the British Army that they stole from me. We've only lost one and we killed 13 A7 Vs. And I'm going to go bankrupt here. Oh my gosh. We have a supply contract. Offer. 18,000 kilograms. No. Here, take it. Please take it. Take it. Take it. I can only... Oh. All right. It's, it's a last-ditch effort. <laughs> take it. Please accept it. Please accept it. No! <laughs> so just to watch this thing in action, because we've already seen how well it does, I've reloaded it and changed some parameters to where we are done with the sixth production of the bonk, and now we have seven days to ship them. I just have to see this thing eviscerate the enemy. Tank storage. Wrong button again. Where is my... Yes. Three days, price, I don't care. We have a season safety. Okay, we're gonna max it out. Seven days to ship. Safety is 100%. This is top notch here. Okay, tanks have been delivered. Six bonk out of six units. Now we can really watch them. We just gotta wait for them to be put into action. Company A's on the way. Okay. Here's our first battle. I cannot wait to watch this. I cannot wait to watch this. Yeah. It doesn't know. It doesn't know. Sturm Panzer 1. Here we go. This is like my favorite part. This is like everything we... Oh my gosh. Look at this. Okay. one One's dead, I guess. Understand, understandable. Understandable. We built this tank in like two months. Look at the bonk. It's about to cross the ocean here. Yes, take it out right now. Take it out right now. We have a radio. Take it out. We know where it's at. Get the turret ready. Yep. KO. KO. That's perfect. Yep. That's it. Done. That thing is massive. <gasps> wow, it's even a better outcome this time. We lost zero that game. Even though one of our was damaged to the battle, our engineers or our mechanics were able to repair it back up. Okay, minus nine. Close. Let's go on. Let's let let's see how it would go against the A75s, or I don't know how you want to read that. Okay. We haven't lost any yet. Okay, we're we're advancing top left, top right. Our our gun is way too good. Our radio, all our tanks know where the enemy tanks are. If we just one shot this thing, I've never seen it done before. Oh yeah. Okay, we are. <gasps> He's still rolling though. He took a massive hit, but he's still rolling. Is he done? 
Oh no, he's done. There. Jeez, guys, we're doing. This is so much better than the first time. Fellas, we have severely improved our design and our effectiveness. I think mainly because of the, the gun, the the um, the scopes we've put on, the reload mechanisms, the radio. I think the radio was one of the biggest things that we incorporated into our vehicle to get it done. But this is a whole different universe. The first universe, the British stole our tank and still won the battle. This universe, we're still in contention and we're a highly profitable business. It is final. I am bankrupt. After providing the British Army a state-of-the-art tank that has cleaned the battlefield of almost 20 with two losses, with only six in operational state, they have killed my company. Thanks for hanging out today. Again, this is, our, this is on Kickstarter. Now, sure, I could have gone to a load save file or a save file and loaded that one, and we could have been billionaires. But I just wanted to show today how mismanagement of time and resources and doing too much too fast uh, can make you bankrupt when you think you're on top of the world. We had the best tank, but maybe we didn't need. I don't know. Maybe we didn't need one modifier, two, three modifications to where it maybe it would have left me a month left to produce them. That's always what you got to think about. I highly, highly recommend this game. Kickstarter below, download the demo today, play what I just played, and support the game to bring it to life. Again, check the page out for all the information. Support it today. And fellas, thanks for hanging out. I love y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow.